just how catastrophic could it get today? Good morning. Uh, the, half the state, in fact, uh, is in extreme weather district in that Wimmera area uh, in that catastrophic. We've got high temperatures, uh, 45 in Mildura, uh, yeah, anything up to, to 37 and potentially 40 elsewhere in the state. But it's those winds, those really hot northerly winds, uh, which will really kick in uh, around lunchtime and, and into the evening, uh, followed by what we suspect will be quite a late change coming through uh, the Bayendine fire, for example, at about about 5 p.m. this afternoon, not reaching metropolitan Melbourne until after 9 p.m. And they are going to bring really strong winds up to about 80 kilometres an hour on the gust. Uh, and today, unfortunately, there's a real potential for thunderstorms and dry lightning as well, which could introduce further fire into the landscape. So today will be a very challenging day for firefighters and communities, uh, which is why we need everyone to be uh, very alert and aware of what's going on. Have the Vic Emergency app on them have more than one source of information because today is one of those days where communities may need to take immediate action at very short notice. Uh, you mentioned their dry lighting and no matter how, how hard working that the crews are and they are hard working on the ground there, once we are talking about elements like dry lightning, all bets could be off, couldn't they? Oh, well, certainly, and, and just like we saw uh, only last week with the uh, with the Dadswells Bridge fire and the Pomonal fire, uh, yeah, both lightning events. Uh, so it, it is quite a concerning that we're not only are we going to have these really hot conditions, these windy conditions with the fires that we do have in the landscape currently, we could be potentially about to see some more with, uh, if that dry lightning does come across. Now, this morning we have a cloud band that has formed over the western part of the state, uh, which will suppress conditions for the morning uh, and but as soon as that cloud breaks that wind it's going to mix down uh, those temperatures are going to really kick in uh, and the, the challenging efforts of uh, the challenges for firefighters will uh, will really start to kick in so again communities today need to be uh, very attuned to what's what's going on around them uh, get their bushfire survival plan ready have the Vic emergency app have more than one source of information for the community surrounding the Bay and Dean fire, they've been issued a potential impact area map uh, that was issued by authorities yesterday. People within that, uh, that area have been advised that they should consider leaving uh, and uh, le either have left last night or, by s or certainly uh, leave before midday today. And for those people who are listening to that advice and are deciding for various reasons to stay, given what's coming today, what, what do you say to them? Uh, I would say that uh, I would like you to reconsider, but certainly uh, if people are deciding to stay uh, and try and defend their properties, to, uh, the reality is on the conditions that we are expecting, particularly uh, in the Wimmera region with that catastrophic conditions, no homes are designed to survive fire conditions uh, like that. Uh, unless your property is immaculately prepared uh, and you have firefighting resources available and that you are fit uh, and you are mentally capable uh, to sustain a a long duration firefight uh, in protecting your own home, um, my strong advice to community is uh, leave early because that will be the safest option today given the conditions. Jason, we wish you, your teams and everybody living in the fire zones all the best today. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you.